obviously, I know what you're thinking. With intro music like that, I'm obviously a bad boy. <laughs> obviously, the flannel shirt gives it away as well. I am actually in a gang <laughs> called, the, called the Star Wars Fan Club. <laughs> you, you laugh, but when we've got our lightsabers, we can fuck shit up <laughs> for, for about two minutes. As we've, we've all got asthma. <laughs> It, it usually ends with us all just lying on the floor crying. The, the good thing about that is that we all sound like a depressed Darth Vader. Perfect. So, did you hear about the man who was caught fucking a fish? <laughs> he was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. does not deserve an applause, it is shit, but I will take it. I know that sounds far-fetched, but that's actually happened. No, I didn't have sex with a fish, just to make that joke work. I worked in a, a prison for a few years, and there was an inmate there who videoed himself doing that. And I know, unbelievable, right? I worked in a prison. <laughs> I, I actually helped uh, rehabilitate him, and he did see the error of his ways, and he uh, found cod and became a... <laughs> and, uh, and became a prawn again Christian. <laughs> I'm sorry, that first part is just a load of pollocks. <laughs> but... How does someone get the idea of fucking a fish? Was, was he going past the fish counter and like, fucking hell, that is one hot fish. Was, was it the trout pal that did it for him? I'm going to have sex with that fish, for sure. Is, is Blue Planet like a porno to him? I'm, I'm just into your normal porn, like uh, uh, ladyboys and uh, pissing in public. It's... It... Someone else is into it as well. well. We'll meet outside and we'll have a bit of fun. I need a wee anyway, so... Perfect. Oh, no. um, right, okay, stop thinking about pissing. Him. Right. <laughs> Composure. Right, one of my uh, favourite porno films is um, Transformers. Uh, Ladies in Disguise. It's, it's awesome. It's up there with. Uh, you've got Shemail and Free Men and a Little Ladyboy. <laughs> Absolute classics. They're awesome. The, um, the guy who um, had sex with a fish, it was, it was rumoured that he also had uh, sex with a horse. He, he didn't actually video himself doing that. So when, when I came to interview him, I did say to him, did, did you actually have sex with a horse as well? And he just said, nay. <laughs> nay. <laughs> um, do, you want, do you want to noise me? Some dog owners who are like, oh, my, my dog is so clever. It's eaten its own shit. <laughs> oh, too many dog owners, sorry. <laughs> like, compared to a human, they're pretty, they're pretty stupid, really. Like. I know, yeah, they can fetch a stick, roll over and play dead, but my two-year-old nephew can do that, and he eats crayons. <laughs> my, my brother should really feed him proper food. He's, he's a bad parent, what can I say? For the, for the dog lovers, no, not like that, we've already done bestiality, let's move on. It's, ju it's just a bit of banter, just banter, or bant, if the word banter is too long for you. What, what's it with people unnecessarily shoring words? Just, there's no need for it. Obs, probs, whatevs. 
Just stop doing it. Those kind of people are just a bunch of cunts. <laughs> when, when I was in high school, banter was kind of nicknames. So we had uh, Pedo Pete. He, he wasn't really a pedo, it was just a term of endearment. And we also had a uh, Bum Boy Baz. I actually saw Pedo Pete a few months ago and automatically and instinctively I shouted, Pedo Pete! It, it wasn't the best time and at the christening of his son at the local Catholic church. Everyone just looked at me in disgust. Weirdly though, the priest liked it. And <laughs> um, oh, I forgot my next, my next bit, I was too busy enjoying the applause. <laughs> but when, when I was in um, high school, I was particularly obsessed with girls with big boobs. It got to the point that nothing else mattered to me, and my friends would always try and warn me against the women I'd go for. They'd be like, dude, she's just, she's a horrible racist. Some of the things she said to Arif were horrific. And I'd just be like, oh, come on guys, Arif's not even a friend. And then Arif would be like, I'm, I'm one of your best friends. I'd be like, come on Arif, don't play the race card now, dude. I'm trying to get laid. But um, she was a full-blown racist. So I, I did the right thing and I didn't date her. And she did reject me anyway. So, story of my life, unfortunately. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> and then I'd meet the next one, and then they'd be like, dude, she stabbed your mum in the face. And I'd be like, come on guys, don't overreact. It's, it's not like my mum spent more than a few days in hospital, and she's got another eye anyway. And eye patches are cool, for sure. And then I'd meet the next one, and they'd be like, and this one was like, oh, amazing boobs, best cleavage you've ever seen. And my mates would be like, dude, that's Bum Boy Baz in a tight top. <laughs> like he was, obviously I went out with him, you can't say no to a cleavage like that. He was, he was a lovely guy, a top guy. But it got a bit awkward, as he mentioned the, the L word, lube. You know, it's the dry way or the highway, Baz. <laughs> but um, Baz, Baz was actually at the christening too, and he's, he's thin and flat-chested now, so I'm not interested. But again, automatically and instinctively I shouted, but boy Baz! And again, everyone just looked at me in disgust, but weirdly, the priest returned at that point. <laughs> oh, that was my last joke. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone.